Hey, and from this is Magic Brad with the Synergy Lifestyle Academy and Synergy Cafe and Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Event Marketing. So we were going to do these webinars, and I was having some challenges with technology and how to record it and broadcast it out, but we're going to work those bugs out because that's what happens with the Internet. Everything's always changing. Anyways, I'm going to touch on the basic essence of number one of the 10 key elements. And what this is, is this is a series of, of things that happen to do effective event marketing or trade show marketing or exhibit marketing at live events. So um, this is, again, it's a 10-piece series. So I've created this document that has all this information in it. And the people that register for the webinar, I'm going to email that to them so they have something to follow along with. But number one, um, the key number one is starting with a goal. Or an objective you need to know exactly what you're going to do at a trade show and there's a difference between a goal and an objective an objective might be a little vague like we're going to capture a lot of leads at the show a goal is more like we're going to capture 15 leads at the show and we're going to close seven of the sales it's more defined so you're going to capture these leads at the show and you're going to close the leads by you know, two, three weeks, two or three months or whatever. So having the goal clearly defined. Also, another thing that's important when setting these goals is that you don't have two or three goals. You have one. And if you do have multiple goals, they need to be in a linear fashion. So as a, an analogy, it's like if you're going somewhere. Say we're in Minneapolis here and we're going to drive to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And on the way, you might want to stop at some places. So they would be goals, but they're on the way. You don't have multiple goals like we're going to go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and why don't we go to Sedona or maybe Portland? Because that would be a long way around to Wisconsin. <laughs> so having a one defined goal of what you're trying to accomplish at the show, and then everything that you do that brings you towards that goal and that date of the show. So as an example, little plug, the Minnesota Business Expo is happening October 23rd. So you put that on your calendar and you start thinking, what am I going to do to make this happen on the 23rd? You don't all of a sudden just wait till the 23rd and then hope that all the stuff is going to happen. Put together a plan. Maybe you can do a pre-show mailing. Maybe you can do some social media. Maybe you're going to do some, uh, some uh, seminars and webinars and things leading up to the event so that when the event happens on October 23rd, the people are already somewhat familiar with you and your company and you've already started some of that relationship building. So the idea is to have a plan in place. So step number one is your goal and your objective. Have a very clear defined goal of what you expect to happen at this show, whether it's just lead generation or is it branding or are you actually doing point of purchase sales, which is a whole nother animal? Um, usually trade shows are for just lead generation and the selling actually happens later on. Anyways, I keep these kind of short because I don't want to take up too much of your time. If you want to know more about what we're doing, I'm more than happy to sit down with you at a longer, have a coffee or a dinner or something and get into more depth with it. But that's what we got. The uh, Minnesota Business Expo is happening October 23rd, and the, lo the domain name is minnesotabusinessexpo.com. So, peace and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Stefan was going to be here, but we had some technical difficulties. Uh, maybe we'll work that out as we go forward. We're hoping to do these every Tuesday at 11 a.m. So, be well. Bye. <laughs> oh, one sec. Can't see. End. Thank <laughs> you.